Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 21st, and today was a beautiful, lovely day outside. Chilly, almost cold at times, rainy, just miserable, miserable weather, but could be a whole lot worse in the world. So we are not getting snow, we're not getting ice, we're not getting horrendous weather that could be storming, just a constant slow um, drizzly rain, which... We need actually we need a lot so my yard's going to um blow up i'm sure right now i have not it's been almost dormant for a while like we haven't had really any real rain to speak of for a couple weeks now so it should be interesting i've been watering my newer plants and stuff and whatnot but this rain should really kick off a lot of stuff i expect to see some orchids blooming i expect to see um yeah a lot of things going on so well good this morning um jaw hurting slept decent-ish um, and not, not spectacular, but I slept good enough. So went ahead, um, uh, was able to get up, got a few things accomplished this morning. Nothing major, just simple little things. Um, trying to be as quiet as I possibly can. So not to wake my wife up. Um, usually if I get out of the room and I forget to bring my clothes, I don't go back in for them because, um, when I do, she wakes up, I can get out without her waking up. Hardly ever does she wake up on the way out. But if I go back in to get other stuff, like my iPad or anything I forget on the first way out, it seems to wake her up, and then she doesn't get back to sleep. So I was like, eh, I guess I can't. So I basically, it's cold in the house because we had the windows open. It was freezing cold in the house. It was like 60-something in the house, and I was like, yeah, it's not good. So I ended up wrapping myself up in a blanket and chilled out in the living room um, instead of being in the like, office and on the computer or doing whatever I want to do because it's no effect. Are you stuck? You are so dumb. But, um... That's that little puppy right there who just got stuck in a bunch of trees. The little bushes I have there, the little angel trumpet tree. So went ahead and um, basically I did not get in there on the um, computer and stuff and check on YouTube videos and kind of crap because, again, it was going to be way too cold in that room um, without any um, better clothing on than just my sleeping shorts. So it was not the case. So I hung out in the living room just kind of just being lazy, not doing a lot. My Like I said, my jaw hurts. I'm not doing much of anything taking my meds and all the fun that comes with it. So she got up finally, um, not in a hurry to get anything accomplished. I went in to get dressed though. I uh, ended up on the computer for a while doing different things. She was going to go to her dad's this weekend. Um, turned out she didn't have to. We also had a dog that was scheduled for yesterday, which was supposed to be here that, um, did not show up. They didn't finally, it was, it is what it is. So ended up not working out. So we didn't really try and make any plans this weekend, which I'm kind of glad because it was dreary and cold and rainy all the weekend. So it's not like we would have been able to accomplish much as it is, but we kind of had delayed anything, um, attempted anything even because we thought we had dog come in, which then got backfired on us anyway. So I did get a few things done, got the computer and played around a little stuff, kind of checked a few things in the um, stock market type things of kind of what I want to do and what I want to see and whatnot. We ended up watching a, uh, later in the evening, we ended up watching a documentary type thing, I don't know what the hell it was, on um, Hulu, Prime, Netflix, one of them I don't know what the hell it was on, about um, GameStop. And it was funny because we were watching through it and I basically was doing a couple of things. She wouldn't be pause. I'm like, nope, I've heard all this shit. Like, I already, I already know all this. It's just like, this is for the people who haven't been watching this online and have not been watching all YouTube videos about stuff. And it's just, it was, it was, whoa. it is what it is. I think I've got like seven minutes left of it and there's nothing new has changed in the process except they've, I haven't seen how much people have lost their ass and people have made, you know, tons of money and whatnot. And there's a lot of them on there. I know they're talking about. They're like, "Oh, we're never gonna sell, never gonna sell." And I'm like, "You're an idiot." When your when your fifteen hundred dollar investment has turned into eighty five thousand um, dollars, you owe nothing. Like you can't hurt the hedge funds anymore. Like they're gonna get bailed out. They're fine. Take your eighty grand and just run away with it. Like what the hell's wrong with you? Use the eighty grand to buy it back when the stock gets cheap again. It's if you want to have the main stocks and kind of, I don't know. There's a lot of things there. People are like, you know idealistic of the idea of like well, I didn't have nothing before this and I don't have anything now and I'm like okay but cool you could have had something like this could have been a chance to change your life like 80 gram could have been enough to I don't know put a nice down payment on a house depending on where you're at buy you a full house you know you could have changed your life forever and generational wealth as you build and you continue to pay off your mortgage and so on and so forth but nope just I'm gonna stick to my principles I'm gonna hold that stock and no matter show no matter what and I'm like okay cool bro and drops back down to I don't know last it looked was nowhere near that money so hey everybody's got their own ideas of what they want to do with their life and how much they want to have fun with it and what they're doing in the concept so it is what it is but watched it um uh, we kind of hung around a little bit uh, i did get my run in um just because i needed to keep my run streak alive jaw hurts and stuff the whole nine yards we didn't really do much of anything we kind of just hung around being lazy um again not much we really could do um we ended up heading heading out i um 
um, ended up going, I had to go feed some cats. So I basically headed down there to go feed some cats. Karen had decided to make a shepherd's pie, but it's called something else. I guess it's shepherd's pie. It means it's lamb. And since it's not lamb, it's called a farmer's pie or something else pie, but it's a shepherd's pie with beef instead of lamb. So she was making that. I said, okay, cool. How long is it going to take? She said, such and such, whatever. I got an hour or anything. I said, cool, we can eat. Last time I'm going to go feed the cats about five. We'll be back right shortly after five. And, you know, because I was going to be there by five kind of thing. So I went ahead and said, okay, cool. So I basically headed out, um, headed down. Just kind of just took my sweet time. Got there, played the cats a little bit. Got the one that I pet it. They're super timid. They're recently adopted. They're not even let the owners hardly pet them kind of thing. They won't let them pick them up or nothing. So I went ahead and played the cats for a little bit and stuff. Best I could, kind of threw some treats for them around the house to kind of give them a little bit of mental, you know, fun there. From there, I headed back, and I was like, cool, we're going to eat. She goes, nope, not yet, not quite ready yet. I said, okay, cool. So we had another half an hour or so. So I went ahead and waited, hang, chilled out, watched a little bit of TV. Ended up um, just watching a lot of TV, actually. It was a lazy-ass day. So we chilled out there, um, watched some more Netflix, um, found different little shows here and there, nothing major. And this kind of made it a lazy-ass day. I wasn't coming outside, not smoking cigars and stuff because of my mouth. After that surgery, I'm chilling out, giving that some time off, and letting it just, what is that? It's cold outside. It's cold and rainy, and I don't want to be out there in the cold and rainy weather trying to try and enjoy a cigar. It's not worth trying to enjoy a cigar. So went ahead, uh, basically called it a day, finally wrapped it up, ended up having some ice cream uh, for dessert. And she bought me sherbet, and I think, I don't know, I don't know if she stopped on the way home Friday or some shit. She stopped somewhere and got like pudding, saying it's Friday on the way home, and got sherbet. And I'm not a fan of sherbet. I don't like the texture and stuff. And she bought some weird wild berry um rainbow flavored thing it's actually called rainbow flavor like, what the hell does a rainbow taste like it's never it's not a flavor thing like that's like i don't know it doesn't make sense so not go to tours no reason to ever buy me sherbet again um and definitely nothing called rainbow anything like so when i having kind of a good laugh with that she likes sherbet so she'll eat it um she'll get a good use out of it and we even talked about it, so it tastes like white claw like a alcoholic slushy thing so i think she might try putting a white claw into it and make it into like a slushy and see what she comes up with so we'll see what happens there but yeah we kind of chilled out uh, made it a superbly lazy day nothing um nothing important nothing major happened so anyway that's all i got for right now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching